Welcome, welcome to another episode of Deal Me In, the podcast for playing cards enthusiasts. I am the gentleman Wake. Joining me as always is uh, Mr. Chris Moyer. Hi, Chris. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good, man. Good. So uh, this is a cool episode, as you can see by the background behind the silver here. Uh, we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be previewing the Spacesuits campaign, which is set to go live this week, which is an exciting campaign uh, designed cool. by Russ Gray. Uh, and we're going to be talking to the producer behind this project, the, the, the man who's kind of put it all together and whose vision is being realized here. Uh, we're going to have him come on in a bit. Just uh, want to do a quick um Quick uh, housekeeping here, uh, Chris. Any announcements or any anything you want to mention to folks at home? No big announcements. Uh, I've definitely been helping uh, Jonathan get ready for this spacesuits launch, which I'm super excited for. Um, I have a couple wine photo shoots coming up soon, but otherwise, no playing card shoots on the books like right now. So it's it's a bit of a lull all of a sudden. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's those are welcome, aren't they? A little bit when when there's not a ton going on. <laughs> you know, it's like I like having a break, but at the same time, you you're, you're kind of itching to always have something like uh, you know, uh, coming up soon too. So I, sure. I definitely have projects later in the year, but it's like you know, you kind of want like something like always cooking. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I I, I can see that. I can see that. Speaking of always cooking, uh, the gentleman Wake has. Uh, Gentlemen Wake Projects. Uh, I released a new update on the Kickstarter campaign for the Beetlebacks very, very recently, letting everyone know the big news. Uh, Chris, I don't know if you know this. Uh, I'm sure you do by now. Uh, Cardamundi has officially um, indefinitely closed uh, all uh, playing cards production for the custom brand division of their um, business, which only amounted to about 2% of their uh, yearly kind of output as far as playing cards were concerned, as far as printing was concerned. They do a lot of stuff for Magic the Gathering. They do a lot of stuff for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon and all that stuff that keeps them very, very busy. Plus, they do their casino decks and their Copac series decks. That, uh, you know, all that in in, con in conglomeration make up about 98% of Cardamundi's business model. And then the 2% was the custom playing cards. Uh, and unfortunately, they had some issues, as I've reported previously, with their uh, new print uh, setup that they were uh, auditioning in Spain. And some issues came up, some technical issues came up. And then, you know, uh, I think they just decided that, hey, we're just going to pull the plug on this because we have a lot of creators out there that are kind of waiting uh, to see what happens. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, it's leaving a lot of people in the lurch uh, among them. Uh, was the Goldsmith campaign, which was, you know, sold as a Cardamundi deck and the Beetlebacks campaign, which was promoted as a Cardamundi deck because we had Cardamundi prototypes uh, that were used for the uh, launch of the Kickstarter campaign and subsequently the on the previous one, the the um, pre-order campaign for that. Uh, so we went ahead and we've made, um, you know, we've made our course correction. We're using WJPC. I've announced it here before. Uh, the Goldsmith is well underway in production. Uh, we are waiting on a few minor tweaks that need to be done to the artwork on Beetlebacks because um, WJPC's tolerances uh, on the artwork uh, borders is a little bit different. So we had to make some minor adjustments um, with uh, the Beetlebacks decks, but hopefully that should be ready relatively soon. Uh, Surgeon Vitakovich, otherwise known as Vitek. Vidic uh, Studios, so he's working on that, Vidic Design, and he's uh, almost finished with that. And then as soon as that's done, then we can go ahead and send that on to WJPC to get the ball rolling on that, as well as uh, Studio Presión, who's already finished the tuck boxes for Goldsmith. And now to start on the Beetlebacks uh, tuck boxes. So um, lots of kind of shifting and, and moving around. And, and what that means is that everything's been a little bit delayed. Uh, that Carter Mundi stuff definitely delayed uh, the, the, the kind of development of all that stuff, which is unfortunate, but expected uh, that we always try to build these little delays into the timeline as much as we can. You're certainly not alone there. It, I think the biggest bummer out of all of it is there were so many different producers that were yeah. waiting and hoping for everything to be fixed. And then it's like six months later and then they've got to now figure out a different direction. It's such a bummer. Yeah, uh, fortunately, I had at least I had you know, kind of the experience with Wormwood 
uh, on the ground yeah, exactly. and, and the corrupted decks to kind of prime me for what I needed to do with WJPC and make sure that they knew who, you know, who we were, what we were doing. Uh, the final update for Beetlebacks is that I hope to have the survey now that everything's kind of sorted out. I hope to have the survey soon. I'm late on that. I mean, uh, Lorenzo launched this campaign like a two months after I did mine and he's already got his survey out uh, and it's being completed. <laughs> so we are definitely behind the ball there. Uh, but again, I've, I've been very busy personally in the last uh, couple of weeks. So I haven't even had a chance to complete the survey, but it will be out soon and there'll be a smoke test. You know how it usually is. A bunch of people, will, you know, small select handful of people will get uh, a test survey or rather a survey. It's not a test. It's just a test to see that the surveys are working correctly. And then once that's approved, uh, the remainder of the surveys go out uh, and people can add new decks or can add ex uh, additional products to their orders um, if they didn't get them the first time around. And also there will be a pre-order store. Uh, which will be accessible through the Kickstarter campaign um, Beetlebacks page, as well as the website, thegentlemanwake.com. The, the both will link back to that pre-order store to let you pre-order any Beetlebacks decks or items if you were unlucky enough to uh, miss the campaign when it was live. All right, so that's it for um, announcements. Uh, I think it's time to bring our, our guest of honor, uh, Deal Me In guest of honor for the week. Uh, this guy uh, that I'm about to bring on here has um has a very interesting story as far as like how he got into the whole playing cards world and and his brand his playing cards brand is a very interesting um story that i think merits uh telling so um i'm please welcome jonathan lamarck of metal lark playing cards jonathan how are you hey i'm doing great thanks for having me here man i appreciate it Absolutely. welcome welcome uh, it is definitely our pleasure uh, to have you uh, come on and, and talk a little bit about a couple things, really about beetle about beetlebacks, about spacesuits. Uh, <laughs> the alliteration got me. About spacesuits, a little bit about metal arc, a little bit about you know um, who you are and, and how you ended up in this situation. So why why don't we start there? Uh, you know, just for people who don't know who you are. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, how long you've been a playing cards fan and 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 whatnot. Like what you know, what got you into it? Um, okay. So it's like, where do you start? You know, but yeah. like, like, back, back in the days, um, uh, David Blaine had, um, you know, the street magic. Sure. Do you remember, remember that? And yeah. so I recorded it on VHS and, you know, I went back and forth on every single trick trying to understand and, and I was awful, but I learned <laughs> some of them and it was like, you know, like, I do it at church and do it at uh, at school and everything, and then I kind of let it go because I wanted to be cooler, you know. Right. So then, uh, you know, I wanted to find a girlfriend. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, fast forward later, I know I always like cards and I'd pick it up and play and you know do stuff with it, but like not like super super into it. No card tricks. Every now and then I'd remember a trick or something, and then. Um, we were starting our pharmacy. So this is now fast forward to, you know, 20 something years. Um, so we're starting our pharmacy and it was like super, super slow. Um, and I, we were just trying to figure out, I was trying to figure out ways to get people in to give them a good experience to, uh. to keep them longer, to ha make them have fun while they were in our pharmacy. And, and so I was like, Oh, I used to do card tricks, you know, like I'm like, I'm pulling deep, you know, because we were like struggling so much, you know. And so and so then I um, I started like looking up card tricks and um, what's that guy? He's like the most popular card trick guy. I don't remember his name now. Um, he does like um, locks and stuff like. Oh, and, Chris like, Ramsey. Chris Ramsey. Chris Ramsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I lost it. I lost the name for a second. So anyway, so he kept popping up and, and I was watching his stuff, watching his stuff. And then, um, he would, he showed like some of his collection of cards and all this. And I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And so I'm watching more and more just to learn tricks and practice them and, and do, do to people. And then I, you know, I had this, um, addictive personality where it's like, Oh, I need to try that. And so I go to like target to Barnes and Noble, 
uh-huh. to everywhere, you know, I go wherever I can to find new ones and then um, new new decks to, so I can like, you know, mess Practical around with them. Voice. Yeah. Watch, right. 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 And so then I, you know, came along this one guy, you know, gentleman wake, he was putting out ah. some content back then, you know, <laughs> Uh-huh. I, I don't know if you remember back back in the day, this guy he was he would he was like the goat, you know, oh. for uh, for for deck reviews. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this guy's good, good, you know. I'm like, okay, <laughs> he had the high quality, you know, videos, you know. He vanished for a second, oh. but thankfully he came back, you know. That's the yeah. <laughs> but so 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 then I was I'd watch your your stuff, and I'm like, okay, you know, like these there's there's levels to this game, you know. And so then I was like, hey, what if we did for advertising for the pharmacy? What if we put our own? And, you know, how many people have, have thought of that, right? Oh, I'm going to make my own deck of playing cards, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I was looking. Um, one of the first decks that I really liked was um, uh, King's Wild, um, the Hive deck. And mm. so I was like, so I looked oh, yeah, into yeah. Uh, Brendan Hong. Yeah. Right, right. And so I messaged him and I was like, hey, do you want to make it? You know, and he's like, nah, I don't really do it. But I still talk to him to the day. Like he's he's an amazing guy. One of the best, best, best like people. Like he's amazing. Um, and this is back before Kings Wild did like the every, you know, the subscription plan, right? Sure. Sure. And then he would he like opened it up, but only for like a certain number. And you know, I couldn't get in and I was on the waiting list and all this stuff. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna make my own. This is gonna be advertising and watch the pharmacy's gonna blow up. It didn't. Um, but so then I was like looking, looking for artists and um, I stumbled across Russ Gray. So he was the one that did our first one. And I messaged him. He's like, I've, I've done like one, but it was for. Yeah, there you go. He's like, I've done one, but it was for uh, like McDonald's or something like that. And and I was like, yeah, like there was a minion deck that he did. And I was like, oh, like and it was on his behance. That's how I found him. And so, and it started with that. The first drawing that he did was a sketch of that king right there, the king of hearts. And uh, and so, I, I talked to him. He he agreed to. And this is before he did stuff with Theory Eleven. Mm. So if you look at a lot of our stuff here, um, a lot of the artwork is very similar to his first Theory Eleven decks. And so, um, so anyway, so. So he started doing, I'm like, whoa, this guy is like legit. And so yeah. I, I worked with him for like a year. And then I went to the Cardistry Con, right? And uh, and I went to Cardistry Con, the one in um, in Oregon. And so I went up to Dan and Dave, you know, because they're like big names, right? And so I'm like, hey, I own my own pharmacy. I want to make my own deck. Like, would you guys be interested? <laughs> and they're like, I bet they were thinking, because I'm sure people approach them all the time. And so I'm sure they were thinking like, all right, this guy has a pill on, you know, on both ways. And it's like a pill or something like that, you know, and he's and but they were like super nice. They weren't like rude or anything like that. They're like, I think it was um, it was it was Dan, I, I think it was, who was like, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. So I whip out my phone and I like show him like the digital proofs. And he's like, oh, whoa, OK, that's actually legit. Like right. it surprised him, you know. And so then. He went and got um, got Dave. No, no, I think I talked to Dave, and then he got Dan. Sorry. And then um, then I was working with him, and and they were like, "Oh yeah, yeah, no, we'd for sure, we'd for sure do it." And and so like trying to come up with all that stuff, and yeah. So it, it was interesting the first one, and I remember like I was trying to be creative, and I'm like, "Oh, I'm gonna be a mini Dex. Oh, let's do this, let's do that," and like just tr- trying to, because it, you know, each time you launch, you hit like this. Um, this lull, you know, like you have this like nice and then it, you hit a lull. Well, I didn't hit my, I went up and then I hit my lull before I even hit like $5,000 or something like that. Like, and I was like, oh no, I made, okay, so I hold, made hold on. Before we get go down that road. Okay, okay, down, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna stop you right there. Yeah. So you are basically the man who, who discovered Russ Gray. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, so- you are. Yeah, I'm the man. I'm the man behind the man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. So then, so then, um, so I think as I was showing stuff to now, this is my own, you know, conspiracy theory. You know, uh-huh. um, as I was showing to 
uh, Dan and Dave and stuff, I'm wondering if there was a connection with Theory 11 or whatever. I don't know. There may or no, may not. I mean, look, we, we, have had, be- we had Russ on the show, and he explained it that that he was contacted coincidentally by another agency that he does work did work for. Yeah, that, yeah. That um, agency I, had been hired by Theory 11 to produce right. a deck, and they basically sub uh contract to Russ. To Russ. Okay. Russ yeah. he did the decks for I think it was Star Wars. I think yeah it was Star Wars. Yeah yeah it was Star yeah, Wars. Yeah Star Wars and Avengers was like the first ones that he did. Um yeah. and and yeah I mean look uh we're huge Russ Gray fans around here. Uh we talked to, at length about him uh being one he, of our he's, he's one of my top favorites. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so okay so oh you can, can, I, can I pause for a second can I can yeah, I go yeah, back yeah. And, and tell a Russ Gray thing okay so yeah 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 so we were working for like a year and a half, like trying to come or like a year with uh, court cards. Like, how do we do it? Like, cause this was like, it was like ground up. Right. And so we were working all this stuff and then theory 11, like he got the, the contract for theory 11 and they gave him like a month to do that thing. Like, I mean, <laughs> they gave him hardly any time. Yeah. And so if it wasn't for me, you know, yeah. I, I don't want to take all the credit, but if it wasn't for me, there wouldn't be the Star Wars deck and all the theory <laughs> left. I'm just saying, if it you wasn't, laid the you, know, me. <laughs> <laughs> you let him, you let him work out the kinks. You let him work out. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. I, um, I guided yeah, him man, through, but I'm not going to take credit. You know. And no. I'm sure we're going to talk about Russ ad nauseum a little later when yeah. we talk about the spacesuits and stuff. He's amazing. That's yeah, probably yeah. one of the best things. That's why you get a big residual check, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I'm still waiting on my check. So I want to know. I want to know your experience yeah. so now you're launching a kickstarter and the reason i stopped you okay. is because yeah. oh, and before we continue actually before we continue we're having a giveaway guys so if you're watching thus far uh congrats to you because you're going to hear about this giveaway we're doing a giveaway um there's a there'll be a series of code words you put them all together you string them all together on the tail end of a of a wake dot video url uh and it will take you to a contest page where you can enter the the i'm going to reveal the first word right now here's the first word first word is on the screen make sure you make note of it uh and you know set it aside because you will need this word and all the other words to follow to make sure that you can enter the contest uh so keep watching all right and make sure to like and subscribe all right back to the conversation john okay. so yeah you started uh this process of creating a playing card without no without knowing anything about creating nothing playing cards. yeah nothing so what was your introduction like to the to the world of, of producing and creating playing cards so you mentioned like you you were already swinging for the fences you were going for for brendan oh, Hall, like to start your deck oh yeah oh yeah so i knew nothing right right and i expected no's from everyone so so like i i had a you know i was trying to make something that i was so i was like i'm gonna make one deck right and if I'm going to do it, I want to be proud of that deck, you know? And so for me, I was like, all right, I need to find someone legit. I don't need to, you know, get some person from Fiverr and, you know, just, you know, mm-hmm. put a couple pills together, you know? Right. So I'm like, okay, I need to go. So I spent probably like a month looking for people, reaching out, a lot of no's, a lot of just nothings. Yeah, and to preface all this, to preface all this, you were a collector at this point. You were collecting cards actively. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So you were collecting cards oh, yeah, actively, yeah, yeah. and and, yeah. and you currently, were... I have like five, six thousand decks. Right. Like, okay. So you are an like, avid collector. Like, like, don't be like me, kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. So, so my question to you is: Is being an avid collector? Your yeah. introduction to the designers of playing cards was through your collection, and 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 and, and I would and I would like and I would I would get like for yeah okay good yes yeah yeah like I couldn't like I couldn't contact all these people who like work with you know all these big names like like I'm still trying to get Stockholm Seventeen to work with me I still can't get that guy to work with me <laughs> help me out like work with me man come on you know I, I still can't and yeah you go ahead land them on your first deck you know well, well it's fine yeah it's fine. sure i got I mean, it I, had... I got it it's fine it's fine you know? <laughs> yeah i had to i had to do some videos to kind of get his attention but yeah you know i get you i get you i i can relate to that to that issue yeah of like, yeah, yeah. You know? so you so okay, but, so but you, you at least had a, a footprint in the game right. i i was a no but i'm still a nobody man okay well so 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 now i i i'm 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 
I'm realistic. I know I'm not. But so anyway, right. so um, so yeah, so so Stockholm. So like I'm like Stockholm. Oh, you know, because I'm watching your videos and all your videos are like in the top, top, top tier. You know, Geo, he don't want to work with me. Stockholm 17 <laughs> don't want to. Low trick. Like where am I at? You know, I gotta find someone who who no one's heard of before. You know. So I'm I'm looking I'm scouting the internet for everything you know, um so so I'm like looking I'm trying for for all these people that I I know, you know Jackson you know, mm -hmm. I love you but you still never. Wrote I, back hey to I me. didn't it's either fine. so it's fine. I didn't get Jackson to work with me either so I wanted to but. Joe, you know. You still don't know who I am, but it's okay. You know, maybe some one day we can we can find something together. But you know, you know, but I'm watching your videos and you got like the top top tier. You know, you don't you don't you didn't do reviews of the bottom ten. You only did reviews of the top ten. You know, sure. sure. So yeah. so I was trying to find people I couldn't find uh, Stutzman. You know, I tried uh, these people. You know, come on, yeah. they they didn't want to talk to me. Well, so I'm like trying land, to find someone. How did you who land on to. Russ? How did you land on so Russ? I'm, Dude, I'm going through Behance like it was like a full time job. I'm on there 40 hours a week trying to find someone for like a, two months straight. Man, right. I was I was reaching out to everyone I, when I was getting messages back like, no, I couldn't even remember who these people were because I just started, you know, I felt like I was, you know, working in India, just sending out all kind of spam mail. You know, I just sure. I was trying. I was trying for whatever I could get. And thankfully. Russ reached back and I was like, oh my gosh. Like, and he was, up, he was up there for me. He was like, he was actually, it was like Brennan. I was talking to him. He was super nice. And Russ was like, they were like up in my top tier. And he actually wrote back. Like, so I don't know how I got so lucky, but Russ actually, you know, he wrote back to me. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't, this yeah, isn't, this comment isn't inaccurate. <laughs> no, no, no I tried to, I tried to, you know. Hey, and I've been rejected so many times in my life. It was, it was, I was used to it, you know. So, <laughs> all right. So now, now you found a designer who's never really done. Yeah. He's, he's done a little bit of playing card right. stuff for McDonald's for Happy Meal, right? Like, not real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you figure out like what he needed to do? The templates, like, where did you go? Like, where did what you know? What 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 was the next step? So, so I was trying to reach out to um to US. USPCC. Do, do they still? Because they're owned by by Carta Monday, right? Yeah, they're still yeah, making they're things. They're still Carta making Monday things, still, right? Cards. Yeah, yeah, they are yeah. still making USPCC. The custom ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was, I, but this is before they got acquired. So I was trying sure. to um, to reach out to them, and I could, I couldn't get people to, to talk back to me. Yeah, I, I was trying to like get so that way I can get some more information. What do you guys need? What kind of you know? Because Russ yeah. is asking me all these technical stuff, and Chris yeah. can attest. He knows that I know nothing about technology. You know, I'm off. You guys are all look at your setup. I still I'm on my iPhone. I look like I'm a <laughs> potato right now. Okay, all right. So, so you know, I'm Russ is asking me stuff because he he knows the he knows the world. You know, and so he's asking me stuff, and I'm trying to answer. I can't really answer all that much. And so I'm trying to get more information. And um, and so I finally got like just the generic email back of the, the spreadsheet and everything. So I just was going off of that. And I'm like, this is what it says, man. And we just were kind of like winging it. Right. Um, and Love then, it. then, yeah, then comes the design like, okay, well, what style? Yeah. You know, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I want this like retro, but like modern. I'm like, I'm saying everything and then the opposite yeah. of, you know, yeah, so I'm yeah, like, yeah. you know, I'm colorful, so, like, dude. We yeah, yeah, yeah. But vibrant, yeah. but like right. very, you know, like, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm doing like, and so, um, so then, uh, so he, so Russ is like a professional, like this dude, he can do yeah. like any style. He can, yeah, I, I didn't even know what I wanted, but like, I'm like, okay, I like, and so he's like, okay, show me some of the ones that you like. And so I'm like showing them all kinds of different ones. And I'm like, but I don't want to be like them. Like, I, I, I don't want people to say, you know, as I'm dropping something, cause this is in the time when like everyone was like throwing everything at Kickstarter. Right. And I'm like, but I don't want to be, I want to be unique. So I love these. I want to be like these, but I don't want to be them. You know, like I want to like, and so I'm like trying to be unique. I'm trying to like, how do we come up with our own style? And I'm looking at his artwork and I'm like, okay, I kind of like this, but like also this. And, and so, and I'm like, this is kind of the idea that I'm going for. 
and I'm and he's like, do you want like traditional course? I'm like, yeah, I want traditional course, but like scrap the traditional. I want it. I want our own version of the traditional. And so that's so. So if you look, these are one of our like. If you look at our our current ones now, they're like you know our almanac and this one right here. Sure. I said I said this is you know and also a lot of people were doing just the standard quartz with like something in his hand you know what i mean right right and so right. and so i'm like and i i was afraid to continue to to use and try to do the same thing so then i i've kind of gone other ways now but yeah no, but this was I, meant to be an advertisement piece for for the pharmacy and when i when i i put it in our pharmacy and i had it all on the counter and displayed and everything and I got zero sales. Like no one even cared. I was trying to hand the stuff out. People didn't want it. Oh, you know? amazing. That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you something. So, so for those people out there uh, who who might not, who might be thinking about it, who might want to know what it's like to yeah. launch a deck on Kickstarter, what was your experience launching this deck on Kickstarter like? Just- Please, oh, I get. Uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. I can hear you. Sorry, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. You. His, so what his was challenges that? with Kickstarter okay. mirror his challenges with the AirPods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Apple as a company, as a brand. You know, as 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 someone who hires this guy. You know, like yeah. I love them all. Okay. So all right. So. <laughs> You you launched this campaign and what are what are the challenges that you run into? What are the what is your yeah. experience with Kickstarter on that first oh. Metal Arc? Oh dude. Oh my gosh. I, like I don't even know where to start, you know? Okay. So so again, I'm bad with technology. So even navigating through the stuff I'm not great with. Yeah, I got, I got that. Yo, this is Nebraska, man. Come on, we we can't afford Starlink or anything crazy like that. This is dial-up. <laughs> you know, I still got my AOL uh, disc on. Oh, that's Lindsay. That's yep. that's my business partner right there. All right. Um. So okay, so so then, uh, gosh. Okay, we'll start with so just prepping the page and and everything, and I'm trying to, and so I'm really bad at as anyone who follows me on IG, they should know. I'm really bad. And the only reason I have an, an Instagram account because I'm like old and I don't, I don't social media. The only reason I have it was for the playing cards. Uh-huh. Like I never had one until I went to um, um, the cardistry con. And then this one guy was like, Hey, you really need IG. That's where all the people are. And I'm like, Oh, I've been looking for all these months. And then, you know, like there's a whole community here, you know? Mm-hmm. And so and so I, that's the only reason I even have IG. But so so just prepping the page it, and getting enough information because you want to you want to have you want to be concise, right? And so that way people can because there's a lot of people who just are going to click. Oh, that catches my eye, and then they click away, or they're like, "Oh yeah, I'll, I'll do that," and you know they bite, right? So you want to yeah. get you got to get them right like right away which I'm not, I haven't perfected. I'm not, I'm not good at, you know, I don't know how to do all this stuff. Um, But like to get their attention and grab them to get to the page, to just click is like, you know, difficult. And then, um, and then to, to have like, then you want enough information to where they understand what the product is and what it looks like, but you don't want it to be too much because then no one's going to read that. Right. Right. And so, you know, like, how do you get this? Oh, yeah, I tried patches. No one wanted patches. Oh, that's the, the original that's sketch the original right there that, that rusted. Yeah. That was the yeah. that's the original sketch that he first emailed me, and I was like, "Let's do it, man! This is amazing." Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, I, but again, I did all these different things, and I tried to to add so much stuff so people could um, that people hopefully would want and add on, and but the add ons didn't seem to sell any. It was the, so, so like I, I tossed a lot of stuff out, but it was just like, no one really bit. That's why I kind of I mean, do less still, and less. You I'm, still I'm not did really okay. Pro- I mean, your initial goal was seven grand. You brought in 45. I mean, that's not, yeah, that's not insignificant. Um, no, but 
So, so, but I, I didn't, it took me like days Especially to get with to a that no, seven. With a no-name designer and, yeah, and, uh, you know. And a no-name and, person, yeah. And a brand, and a brand that just started out that doesn't have a footprint. Yeah. I mean, you, how did you get to 45,000? I mean, on so, the so this, this is what I did. This is. So this is this is how I this is this is how I, I did it. So I launched. We didn't, and we just and I. This was back when um, I did, and I don't know how people tier them now, but they'll like do um, they'll do like tier systems to where like if you unlock this, you unlock a deck like you do, like you've perfected yeah. it, but you know how to you have like I don't know I can't I can't I'm not you you know. <laughs> so well, I mean, so, I, I wouldn't call it a complete success either but it, it comes with its headaches but go so, on so 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 i launched and we were like really close we were like six thousand something and then and then lindsay who just popped on just a second ago so mm -hmm. i was like i'm talking to her i'm talking to my wife and i'm like if i launch another thing like if i if i if i just open up the next add-on which was um the deluxe version which um has gilding and everything i was like mm -hmm. if i if i do this maybe maybe this will then get me past and i can like really do it and i did and it and and so each time i had a big bump it was because i released another um, right another item another uh, yeah another another, another uh, right yeah and, and it was a, a deck so the decks really like pushed it up there and and, and um, but obviously with that comes costs Right. right. Like you're, yeah. You're not like just unlocking. You're all of a sudden yeah. you're, you needed seven thousand initially, but you're unlocking this other deck that maybe now you need nine thousand to pay for or ten thousand. Right. Right. And it comes right. with a whole extra stress, right? Oh, so much. And back then, gilding was even more expensive. Sure. Yeah. And sure. so, and so I, um, and so I'm like messaging around, like so I'm like I'm like we're dying here, like, and in my mind I'm like letting everyone down like this whole year and a half has been worthless because i can't even like and i'm like down and you like, and you had to you know? pay russ gray out of your own yes life. yeah 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 yeah, yeah right. absolutely so you were right. already in the in the in the red like you were already right. in the hole going right right in yeah. yeah and and I remember a lot of, this is, i think this a lot of people the, a lot of fans yeah. and a lot of customers and backers don't understand the level right. of economic commitment that it takes to do these things even before you press launch on the campaign correct right? like, correct yeah. correct correct yeah. yeah and and remember back then this is when the pharmacy was like i mean we were i was watching every single bill that came out of the sure. the pharmacy and i'm thinking oh my gosh i'm gonna bankrupt us i'm we're losing right. the house where you know everything is gone right right and so all because i wanted to do some playing cards and i'm like hating yeah. myself you know and and I'm yeah. thinking, gosh, why did I do this? Like, no one likes it. No one wants it, you know? And then, and so I'm like, I'm talking to my wife and, and with Lindsay, and I'm like, and I'm trying to like in the behind the scenes, you know, I'm trying to like, how much would this cost if I do a gilded and then change the, the you know, tug box and then I'm getting quotes and everything. And so I'm like on the fly, like, and I'm like panicking and I'm trying to, so any, I recommend to other people get all the prices first of where the deck where the where the campaign might go yeah. don't yeah. do it on the fly because i did that on the fly and I, i'm telling you it was so stressful and i, I did bet. it twice and i and i was like i'm never doing this again so so i launched that one it and it does well like people actually like were like oh yeah yeah and then it felt like there was the upswing and i was like okay okay we're doing this right but then i got like all the numbers back and i started crunching the numbers and i was like even more like so i was like you know maybe a couple thousand negative oh, in the project. Right. And then it just turned into like five or 6,000 negative. And I'm like, oh gosh, this is bad, right? And so I'm like, and so I'm struggling, I'm, and I'm like, okay, I, I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't, we're gonna have to do a third deck maybe? I don't know. And, you know, shout out to Low Trek because mm. that dude messaged me and I'm like, and, and one of the, again, one of the nicest, nicest people. Yeah. Incredible he's... man. Like, yeah. and and so and so I was like, wait, wait, are you real? Like, I had to check the, I had to check to see if that was really <laughs> him. You know, like, or is this like a fake account? You know, like, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, punked right now or something, right? So and so I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you know, you're amazing. Like, I want to work with you. I want to do something with this deck, but I couldn't afford to like do a lot, right? So uh -huh. I was like would you be willing 
to do like a very, very limited. Um, and if I, if I printed with Carta Monday, the, and it was the, um, what, the, what was that? It was the B, it wasn't B9. It was the, it, it was super slim, slim line. I think it slim was line, back then. Slim line, yeah. 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 So it was before they did all the B and the C something. And it was uh -huh. like, the, yeah, it was like back then. And, and it so was, he uh, did a specific, he did a tuck or he printed so, a tuck? So he did, he, he, he printed a tuck for me and I, right. and I paid, yes, yes, there you go. Right. And so, and so he's the one that printed those ones. And I, now right. I was able to use his name. Right. 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 <laughs> And, yeah. and so he like, and so I'm like, and then I, and I, but I don't know how it's going to go. Right. So right. then I launch. So I, I open up that tier. I'm like, Hey guys, this is what we're doing. And I open this up. Right. And now I can't just do the, the other decks that I have and put it inside this tuck. Right. So now uh -huh. I'm talking to Carter Monday. I'm getting a quote for, for them on, on a, um, on, on a, not guild, um, on a, uh, cold foil right and cold slim cold line cold. right yeah and so i get i get those and i'm getting quotes and i'm getting quotes for um from low trek and i'm like okay here we go let's do it but right again everyone don't do this on the fly because it's not good <laughs> right no. so, so 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 you you have so i'm gonna i'm just to kind of yeah to trunk it because we still got to get the spacesuits. We want to talk about. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we, go, we don't want to get too in the weeds here. But you had, yeah. How many campaigns since since that first campaign have you launched now? Okay, so um, what am I on? I think this is the fifth. Fifth campaign. This is my fifth this will one. Be the fifth one. Yeah. So yeah. you had. Yeah, because I had Jay, Blue Jay was next, correct? Yeah, with uh, with Electra, and so right, and so that was a fun one, and we were like, she's really quirky, and I'm you know, like kind of off, you know, mentally. So, you know, so yeah. So then we did blue Jay and that was a super fun one. And we, you know, we, we try to do crazy stuff and we found this gilder in, um, Uh Oh, we lost him. I thought he was, yeah. I thought he was. Yeah. And, mid so, and so we found, <laughs> found this, uh, this gilder and, and he was able to do like this ombre thing. And so, Oh yes. You know, I don't have a good attention span, so yeah. Um, and so all those were were with Carter Monday on that one. Um, yeah, then very cool. I randomly, and then after this, like one like Rookie of the Year. On this one? Yeah. So, no, no. Oh, so nice. on the other one, I got Rookie of the Year with with uh, with the ah, Metal Lark one, and so I, and so I got right. like like a thousand or two thousand bucks um, in credit right. with uh, with uh, Legends playing cards. Oh, that's and so cool. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll try it, you know. But the back we're talking back then, like everyone used Card to Monday, and right. like, and sometimes or USPCC, right? It was like right. one or the other. You right. didn't go with anyone else, and so right. I tried them, and it, working with Card to Monday was difficult for me because I was a small brand. Working with you uh, and uh, USPCC still like it was like impossible to even get a hold of anyone, right? And so working with Lawrence was like amazing. So for my third deck, um, that was the, um, I went back. So it was Russ Gray, then Elettra, and then right. Russ again. And yeah, that was this, the, yep, the yeah, Pharmacy is, on Main. This is, I mean, this won my deck of the year. Uh, for, so, okay. So this one came out. So, right. so for two years, I was trying to get on your top 10 list, man, you know, <laughs> and I'm looking all the time. I'm like, I'm like, I missed it again. I missed it again. I was sad. And then I saw this and, yeah. and I think I was, I don't remember where I was. I might've just been honorable mention, but I was, I made it, dude. I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I, that was the peak. I was like, oh man, I was like, oh, this is so amazing. You know? Um, so thank you for that. Thank you. I no, appreciate I mean, it. I, I, you don't have to thank me. Thank Russ because he just killed yeah. this. I mean, this so, is so, so then day. I was like, yeah. So, so then this is when we kind of started. I, I was like, all right. I, I knew kind of the vision that I wanted, and I didn't, I didn't want to just make the same deck over and over again, right? Because, because uh -huh. the the Blue Jay was similar to, but it was yeah. different. But yeah. this one, I, I said, you know, I really, really want to. Um, I really want to people think we're going here with our next deck and I want to just throw them for a loop. Right. Yeah. 
And so that that uh, pharmacist right there was the first thing that, that he made. So usually he's like he makes the king first, but he ended up making the the Joker first, which was the um, the pharmacist. And so when when I was talking to him, I was like, all right, you know, like I want I want traditional, you know, courts again, but I, I want it to feel like you're going back in the days to an actual pharmacy with the the soda shop and like you know i want it to feel like you're on main street you know like when you're in the small town and every everything's on main and nothing you know it's like yeah. Yeah. so that was our that was what we yeah were this going was for. great and then and then to follow this up you went back and you worked with uh electra again yeah and okay. then and so and so um my cousin does like antique stuff and so she found this like almanac from like 1920 something or 1930 something and i was like i was like okay this is what i want to do and this was like hey let's be crazy right i'm like yeah. this is probably gonna flop and this will and then it's gonna flop and it's gonna hurt my feelings and then i'm never gonna do decks again right i said but let this let's be like just silly and crazy and so i said let's do an almanac deck where it's like where you feel like you're reading this old pharmacy almanac that has you can get cr the craziest stuff that, you know, that they had. And so she was like, I, I, I want to say she enjoyed it. Maybe she hated it, but it was like, what, what funny things, what tonic, what snake oil, what, you know, all this stuff. And so we were just coming up. And so it's one of those ones where if you have it in the, um, in the uncut, they connect certain parts connect sure. to each other. Sure. And like, and there's hidden things all throughout. So you can actually like read it like a book, like an almanac. And so we wanted to make our, I think I had an almanac right here. Yeah, so, and so we wanted to make it a book. And so it's magnetic. And so when you open it up, the tuck box just looks like the front page of an almanac, you know, of a book. Yeah, so. I mean, it's great. So, um, I mean, and I feel like a lecture on this one really, uh, based on what I've seen of her style, this is a departure for her and a very cool departure. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I'm like, let's just be crazy. Like, so then her, her great, her grandfather, um, had showed like she showed me some like cartoon. Like, I guess when people in Italy graduated from medical school, they like they mm -hmm. made like a caricature of them and like a mm -hmm. cartoon and everything. Mm -hmm. And like, and so she showed me that. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Let's do like that. And and so it was like taking part of her. And like, you know, me and like, let's do some weird stuff. And so we, that's when we came up with this like uh, almanac thing. And it was okay. like, yeah. And so the yeah, style no, I, is actually this old school, like Italian style caricature sure. cartoon stuff. Yeah. Very cool. No, it's actually, it's, it's a wonderful, uh, wonderful deck. Um, all right. Just going to stop you right here. Okay. Real quick. okay. Yeah. Remember, remind everyone to like and subscribe. If you haven't already, please like the video. So that uh, the algorithm, you know, uh, gets uh, gets uh, a whiff of everyone's interest and and maybe push, pushes it out to more people. All right, we're gonna do yeah. the second word for the giveaway because we're falling behind here. So here's the second oh word for God, the giveaway. Right. Word is right there on the screen. Make note of it. Uh, and there's three more words to come. Hopefully, we can get them squeezed in here. Uh, we haven't even had a chance yet to talk about the next project, which is the one we're really here to kind of. Oh uh, my gosh! I'm sorry. To 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 discuss. Okay, um, you've just got so many good stories, you know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna. I, I can talk like this. Again. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Chris talk because Chris is Chris has been intimately involved in the project to yes. this point, um, taking the photography, which I'm gonna put on screen shortly. Um, Chris, how many editions are there? The talk to me about the spacesuits campaign and the deck and 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 what you've been able to gather so far, working closely with Jonathan to get this out. Working with Jonathan is a ton of fun. And we've, we've been, you know, if, if we just kind of look back at those campaigns, it was um, Pharmacy on Main was the first one I shot for Jonathan. And then kind of since then, we've been collaborating, chatting, talking through different things. Uh, I definitely help him out with technology advice. <laughs> um, and, 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 and I believe not just for the photography for spaces, but one of my key roles was Jonathan gave me access to the campaign. So on my on my uh, way home from work, uh, I, I commute uh, and take a, a bus all the way to Cupertino. And so I'm on the bus 
and I've got access to this campaign. And I basically just went through and re <laughs> did it all and changed all the pictures and everything. And I'm like, Hey, hopefully I didn't overstep here, but uh, you know, no. I kind of revamped things a little bit. So uh, no, I'm happy to, to be a part of this and, uh, to ha to be able to work closely with someone on such an amazing campaign like this. The photos that you've actually got, I think, are the ones that I kind of took as like a quick preview. Uh, mm -hmm. So they're not the ones from the actual campaign. Mm -hmm. But uh, what's super cool that Russ did for us on this is he actually gave me a, a really large background file that I had been printed uh, from Bay Photo. So the, the background that you see there is actually a 24 by 36 print on Gator board that I had made, which was super fun because I was like, how do I do a photo shoot for this thing? Mm -hmm. uh, but there are two main additions, uh, the Astro deck and the Interstellar deck, and then uh, a pretty yeah. phenomenal tin lunchbox that I feel like everybody has to have. Um, I mean, no one else has done this. Like, Jonathan took the tins from Pharmacy on Main and said, hey, how do I go bigger and better and more magnificent than anybody has ever seen? And it's got like the embossing across the top and like exactly the nostalgia that you would expect when you were a kid and you you have those um, tin lunch boxes. Um, but they do come in two colorways with a limited edition and the limited edition has holographic tux, gilding, and a numbered holographic uh, uh, stamp on it as well. So hopefully that's a pretty good general overview, but I should let Jonathan speak to all the specifics here because he worked really closely with Russ on kind of developing all the characters. And there's just so much detail on these. And it's like the retro nostalgia is like top notch. Sure. Yeah, well, uh, Jonathan, before I do that, uh, I'm going to share yeah. another word with our audience here. Another word. Here's another word for you guys. Uh, make note of that word. That is the third word now in the uh, string of five words that you're going to need to get to the contest page. We'll come back to that later. So, Jonathan, um, yeah, so talk to me about this. Talk to me about the inception of this deck and and how it came to be and, and, uh, and you know, where it where, – oh, that's wrong one. I went one picture too far. Where, <laughs> where it kind of comes from. Okay, so first of all, I got to say to Chris, he's amazing, you know. Uh, I will never launch another deck without him. He is part of the Metal Lark family. I, I need him, you know, like I, I, yep. I there's, there's no, like he's, he's incredible, okay. Best photographer in the game, but he can also like, you know, handle Agreed. me and my, my craziness. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so, so. Russ and I were like, all right, we, we've done so many weird things, you know? And I said, I just did a really weird thing with Almanac. And w where do you go from that? You know what I mean? Like, do you go back do you, and finish up like a series of something? Or do you, you know, like... Well, well, what's interesting about this is that this is the first departure from the pharmacy, right? Yes. Like, this is the first yes. time you have now said, okay, we did the pharmacy thing, Um you know, and now we're going to do something a little different within right. the brand. Right. So, th so I was like, I feel like from based on the past, people are going to know where we're going again. Right. It's going to be medical. It's going to be farm. It's going to be something I said. And so I'm like, and I don't like people predicting what I'm going to do, you know? Sure. And so, and so I said, all right, Russ, let's, let's do something. Let's do something weird. I said, what would you like to do? Right. I'm like, I'm giving Russ like, hey, you know, like, do you have any ideas? And he, we kind of went back and forth. We kind of tossed some different things, some, you know, carnival, like just different things. And then uh, I don't remember who came up with with it, but but it might have been me. I don't remember. I, I don't want to take credit if, if I if he came up with it, we came up at the same time. But around that time, my, my son was watching a cartoon called Kid Cosmic. It's on, it was on Netflix or something. I don't know, but he had like this, this old school space shooter like thing. And he was like into comics. And I was like, Whoa, what if we did like a comic book thing? Right. Like old school comic book, like how people would be like super into it. Right. 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 And like back in the day, you like, I'm like, you bring your, your lunchbox to school and you have your, your, your t-shirt on and like, everyone has their favorite character. And, yeah. you know, for me, I remember, yeah. you know, Popeye and He-Man and all those guys. Right. And so I'm like, 
remember those old days like i want to i want something i want to create something that like has this this dimension where it's like it's its own story right mm -hmm. it's its own like like and it's it's realistic enough to to have maybe even been re, you know like been something that actually is you know yeah and so well, I'm like, i mean I, it, it totally yeah. gives me like lost in space yeah you know, yeah, yeah vibes right like the right, jetsons right. right like yeah 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 healing right and so and so we kind of went back and you know russ thought of some concepts he like tossed some stuff and i'm like oh dude this is amazing and then i'm like and then i i went and i asked uh my kids and and like um and lindsay and her daughter and i'm like okay if you were to be a superhero what would your you know what what would you what powers would you want or what you know like yeah so i'm like like trying to pull like stuff from other people and and so you know um so a lot of those things i, I kind of presented to russ and he took and and brought in um uh one of the hardest things for him to incorporate i think was my daughter said that she wanted to she would be invisible like she has to, and so if you look on the poster uh, I don't, I, I can't show you, but okay. Oh, if you look on the, on the tin, on the bottom one, it, it mentions, um, so on the poster, it'll say, uh, in this issue, the invisible, the oh, invisible yeah, girl, I right now, see now I you'll see, see her on the tin. Yeah. yeah. And so that, and I'm like, I try to give Russ as much, like I try to make it as hard as possible for him, you know? And like uh -huh. I, I'm like, yeah, but you won't do this. And, and then he shows me this, and I'm like, dang, how'd you do that? You know, <laughs> he's yeah, just no, that he's, good. You he's know, he's amazing. He's amazing. Yeah. Um, and uh, so this is this campaign is launching when? Tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Time. So okay, okay. So 10 Eastern and it, seven 11, Pacific. 11. It's right, eleven a.m. Eastern or 10, 10 oh, a.m. No, no, ten because because Central is just one hour. Right? One hour. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, cool. so nine central, so, seven and Pacific. What is, what's the goal amount? How many how many different tiers are we looking at? Like what's so? What's the... So I, I I'm trying to keep it simple. So okay. we've 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 jumped past you know like I know I was going super into it and we've jumped past a lot of traumatic events from the previous things that you know I I, I won't do because we're short on time but there's been a lot of trauma okay. And uh -huh. so, and so I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> and so I'm like, all right, we're, we're keeping this thing simple. Right. And I was like, and so we had uh, custom boxes um, made for each tin. So that way when they're transported, there's enough. So they're not getting busted and dinged and all this stuff. Uh -huh. And then um, we've had a lot of trouble international. So uh -huh. I'm like trying to work behind the scenes and, and prep it to make it financially. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like that's that's always a big thing, especially right now. Um, and you, I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, thank you, Brad, for putting that out there. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, so, so um, there's a lot of like it's it's difficult. Like when the market is kind of in a in a lull, mm -hmm. which it, it feels like it is. Yeah. Um, unless you're like a big name person, you know. Um, and but even for, then, for, and even for, then, for, like, for I, us, nobody, like, for us, nobody's, yeah. it's, you know, it's a lull for us. So, um, so I'm trying to make it as financially feasible as to be able to allow as many people to, who wants to be involved, they can uh -huh. be involved. And so uh -huh. I have just a few tiers. Um, so I have a tier with decks only. Um, mm -hmm. so with, with just the, the two decks, then I have a tier with, with just a regular tin and the two decks in there. And then I have, and and I was gonna have make bigger, um, like have the requirement be be bigger, but then I was like, financially, I don't know where everyone's at right now. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of, it's been a weird, you know, state of how yeah, life is strange, right now. Strange couple yeah. of years, the last couple. Of yeah, years. and so I'm like, how do I offer as much as possible and try to limit it as much as I can? And so, um, so I I put our costs as low as i could um mm -hmm. with very with a little bit of margin in there mm -hmm. but i still have to sell like 70 80 percent of my stuff to even break even so um, and you so for people at home this is not the normal process i i launch a campaign i print prototypes 
I take all, I send my prototypes to Chris. Chris, you know, does a fantastic job shooting pictures. I, you know, I, I make the video, I set up the campaign page, I launch the campaign, everybody orders their decks, and then I order the final, you know, right stock. You've already done that. Yeah, and I don't recommend what I did because now I'm extremely <laughs> stressed. You right. Know? Well, you're way in the hole. I'm like I'm deep. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we we go deep in here. You know, like no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So you you're you but the but the benefit of doing it this way, the benefit benefit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is now you're ready to go. Like the campaign, ends, yeah. the campaign ends in how many days? Um, so it's going to be a two week, um, two weeks. Uh, yeah, just a two okay. week campaign. Okay. And then, um, and so we're going to do two weeks. So 14 days from, from tomorrow, that campaign right. wraps up. You're sending out surveys two weeks after you're yeah, ready to you, ship. It, it usually takes about two weeks or so to, for yeah. the money to, to come yeah. in from yeah, yeah, Kickstarter yeah. and stuff and all that stuff. So, yeah. so, pr so I put June in there. Right. Just to, in case there's some weird thing, well, I don't you're know ready what to happened, go. But You've got the I'm ready stock. to go. Everything's ready to go. So yeah. the second these yeah, people, yeah. this is a very attractive thing. Okay. For and and let me tell you the, the the shipping he's talking about, the boxes that these come in yeah. are legit. The shipping is awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I've people are going to get yeah, like a really quality shipping. This is the final it. product. This yes. is the final product for all you people watching at home. That's a this is a very attractive thing. I wish I could do this because. Number one, it's a lot less stressful on the back end. Yeah, you're stressed right. now. Yeah. But it's a controlled, mitigated stress because the second it's over, it's over. You don't have to right. spend the next year of your life worrying about whether the production or not is, you know, Carter Mundi's canceling production or blah, 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 blah. Like none of this stuff applies right. to you, which is fantastic. And from a backer, which, which was all part of the, the traumatic. Yeah, yeah. And from a yeah. backer perspective, it's the most attractive thing in the world. I get to back this. And in two months, I might have the deck in my hands. Right, like, right. That's phenomenal. I mean, I, I think that that's amazing. I think that that's really, really cool. And I hope this campaign, and I'm going to be backing it for sure, aside from the fact that it. I'm a huge Russ Gray fan. I'm, I, I am now a fan of yours. So, Oh, thank um, you. Thank you. Yeah, so, so um, <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, if I can bring myself to make a top 10 video, this deck will be on it because it's just a beautiful campaign. Uh, so we'll see. Hopefully I can, I can okay. pull something together. At some okay. point, you know, find some time. But anyway, tomorrow at we said 10 a.m. Eastern. Yes, 10 a.m. Eastern. Yes. Yep. All right. So yep. if if you're watching this now on the day of its release, uh, tomorrow 10 a.m. Eastern, the campaign is going to run through the end of April. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Correct. Yeah. Right. It's going to run till yep. the 30th of April, more or less, or the 1st right, right. of, of May or, or, or whatever it is. Something um, like that. Yeah. Yeah. You got a couple weeks to get in on this. Uh, you definitely want to be a part of this because it's a beautiful uh, campaign. And and uh, Chris, you did a fantastic job with the photography. Uh, and amazing, I, like I said, yeah. we're just kind of looking at the preview photos. I can't wait to see the photos on the actual uh, campaign because I know you you knocked it out of the park just from from what I can tell. One, so, one additional thing that uh -huh. we, we should highlight, because in addition to the uh, amazing tins, the decks, all of those, mm -hmm. uh, we did also partner with uh, Cards and Conundrums for oh, some, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. some pretty spectacular Very cool. card decks as well that will be offered and cut to order uh, as add-ons during the campaign as well. So uh, they're not like your traditional card back cuts that you yeah. see a lot. Just yeah. really highlighting the characters and the artwork in a in an awesome way. So, uh, you know, those will be pretty limited as well. But uh, John and uh, Jonathan and I each have a set of these, and like when I first yeah. saw them, I was blown they're away because they're so different compared to what you may see with a lot of other decks. Yeah, Lindsay, Lindsay chiming in. You guys always start in the very deep red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, so help help. If that's not the truth Jonathan, for all life. Yeah. If you're watching this at home, make sure to help Jonathan and Lindsay get out of the deep red. Yeah. Uh, become a backer on launch. Uh, I think I think you won't be disappointed. I can tell you from my perspective and from my knowledge uh, and experience in the playing cards world, these decks are top notch. So, uh, and then you have if, my if I, if I can, I appreciate yeah, it. And one more thing, I know we're almost out, but um, yeah. for international people, you're not going to miss out as soon as. Kickstarter releases all the funds and everything, and we start to um, we start to uh, uh, fulfill everything. Fulfill. Yeah. On Legends playing cards, 
they have a whole chunk set aside for international. And so oh, it'll go great. live on theirs. And as soon as you order, it's already the, they process it and do all the processing and the so shipping. So all right. So let me make this clear. If you're an international backer, you won't have the chance to back the campaign during the active two week window. However, Correct. however, the stock has already been set aside at Legends Playing Cards for international cu customers, and that will happen concurrently with the fulfillment of the U.S. Correct. backers. Correct. Okay. Yes. So, thank you. So be on the yes. lookout for that. You want to make sure that that you're aware of that of that happening. All right. So before we continue, I want to release the next word. Here's the next word uh, on the screen. As you see, we got one more to go uh, before you can enter the stream of words to get to the uh, contest giveaway. All right. So. We always ask everybody who comes on here to give us their top five uh, playing card decks of all time. Um, it's a fun little little uh, exercise that we do. We love hearing people's perspectives. Initially, you sent me a yeah. list that was all TGW decks. <laughs> and you know, I just want to let you know you don't have to suck up. Okay, like like no. Okay, you first do not of all, have to suck up. First Omar, of all, actually, I, I think took you seriously for a minute too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so first of all, I do because I need to be on that top ten list, man. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but but yeah. also my point was, you you have five, and you get all the top people to yeah. to you know that you work yeah, with, I've been man. Very lucky. I've been and very so, lucky so to you, work with some amazing. And artists. so yeah. you can easily put like I mean, so for me, I have a bunch, but I also have like like it's the artists that that I you know I right. absolutely love. You know right. what I mean? Right. And so and so yeah. I can't. I, I like I said. I have too many cards. I can't really put like because then. No, but, but it's, you got it's, you like, it's like top five, five rappers. You gotta give us five. It's like top five if, rappers, though. You know. Right. Well, even you gotta give us five. You gotta give us at least uh -huh. five decks that you think are fucking timeless. That are like gonna okay. always be in your collection. That are never gonna go anywhere. Number one, and it don't have to be any particular order. So number five, let's say number five. What's number five? I I, I told you a whole bunch. I don't remember now. Okay. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, number five, timeless because I like old school. Okay, the Golden Nuggets. Oh, that's the second time now a person said this yep. was Henry. Henry's on Henry's yeah. list. The Golden that's, Nuggets. That's two episodes in a row. And I think it was yeah. in a row. Yeah. For anybody yeah, Henry, at home, Henry's really amazing. By the way, yeah. Henry, yeah, Henry. Henry. By the way, okay. Henry has like all of them, but like one or two. I don't remember. Maybe he right. has all of them now. Right. But I'm. I'm. I'm only got one. I only got one, and it was a gift, and so, but th that one's legit. Okay. Yeah, Bruce Lee. If, <laughs> if I say Bruce Lee, you just you just turn this stream off, okay? <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. What's number number okay. four? Number four on the list. Number four is probably um, the Pinocchio deck. Um, oh, okay. by cool. Electra. 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 Okay. Because cool. yo, Electra's amazing. You know, yeah. like that's my girl. Mm -hmm. But she also has like some um, some ones like this, so it's not yeah. like she she did like a redo, and so I'll put that one up there on my thing too, right? Fair, fair, okay. Um, number okay, three. number three on the list. I'm gonna have to put so I'm gonna put this, but oh, but but, oh, but that's such a good one. But to be fair, I haven't mm -hmm. opened this one yet because. I wasn't able to afford two of them, right? So I only <laughs> yeah, got one I, of them. I understand you know? that. And I so I don't that. have it. So so the um the black one that you have in that yeah. the, the yeah. parlor. Oh yeah. my gosh, man. So uh but, just but for that being said, watching. it might be taken out by by the Beetlebacks because the Beetlebacks are like one of my favorite things. But this was OG. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I was just gonna say for anybody out there who <clears> might not know, uh Lorenzo and I are are uh, in the process of of getting together to work on a on a fifth anniversary parlor deck that's going to be coming out soon, uh, and worth and I'm thinking we might do something with that green tuck to make it a little special, make it a little different. So that's going to be exciting. Uh, he did I think. mention it on Patreon today too. Yeah, he did. He mentioned it. So so yeah. So we're excited about that. That's hopefully in the coming soon. And in Stockholm 17, coming soon means any time between now and like two years but you know it is what it is and i'm excited to finally work with lorenzo again that's really exciting okay number two on your list jonathan i gave you some time um, to think I'm, about. I'm super excited i'm super excited that you get to work with them twice before i even get to work with them <laughs> once but you know i'm not i'm not you know i'm not bitter i'm yeah. not bitter right. so okay yeah um number one number two is probably this one i don't the know if you remember 17. when it launched yep. 
Mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah 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 like yo i was for a whole day i was trying to figure out all the different stuff and like oh man that was fun this, this when he when he released this one this yeah no, that, fun. and that is also the second um, week so, in a row so i got nostalgia with this one too that that yep. deck pops up on the list okay and the final final entry in your top five decks favorite decks at the moment is the final the final one is going to be the deck that I work with Stockholm 17 on. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my number one. <laughs> All I, right. I got to put it out in the universe because I don't know how many decks I'm going to have left. You know, yeah. probably not many. Yeah, Kenny, you're not wrong. Um, a white parlor confirmed. Okay. A white parlor confirmed and a prism parlor confirmed. So uh, FYI. Your, your Tempest yeah, one was, was up there too. Your, your yeah, Tempest, Tempest one was uh, up there. Well, man. Chris Jeez. was just telling me that he has a newfound appreciation for the Tempest. The, the Tempest Tuck is my favorite Tuck of all time. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, Low Trek knocked out of the park. It's, what, it's one of my yeah. favorite things to do is when you're opening that Tuck and you see the beetle kind of appear out of the ship. Yeah. They're really cool. cool that one uh, is insane. Yeah that, yeah, that one's up there. Yeah. I mean, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, and we should probably do she like refuses like, to share her like, sarcophagus deck. Yeah, okay. I was gonna bring that over. I was gonna tell her to come bring it over to my house so I can flaunt it, but she's like, "No, I, no, this ain't leaving my house." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. Well, John, I want to thank you and congratulate you, number one, on all the amazing work you've done. And I think. I think if people don't know who you are, I hope they know who you are now. And I and hope so. I, I hope that. <laughs> All of them come out for you tomorrow. I will be there, and I will make sure to back it. And I and I, I just for people at home Thank for accountability's man. sake, I owe them a video. I'm trying to work. I've been super busy. I'm trying to work on something for spacesuits, uh, and I haven't really had uh, had a chance to to get it up. It'll be up in the in the first couple of days of the campaign, but it will get it'll get up there. It'll get up there. All right. Okay, um, okay. Final word of the day is this word right here so you're it's on the screen so what you have to do is you have to take the five <clears throat> words put them in order of how they appeared on the tail end of the following url wake.video backslash and then you put your code words uh in there it'll take you to a contest page and uh you will win a contest we win a prize it'll be cool we don't know yet what it is do we know what it is yet guys I mean, um so so here's what i was thinking so the holographic decks you can only get with the limited edition yeah mm -hmm. but I, I was sent a couple extras okay, okay. all right um the, they're not they're not sealed so they're not okay. numbered okay but, but this is as rare as a gift no that's man. that's the, awesome there's I, only like a few of them right yeah yeah and so i'm gonna give my copies i don't know if you want to do one and one or you know like one person uh, okay both. we can do two know. we can do two yeah can it's do, up yeah, to you to it it's up to you it's your yeah. world i'm just living in it all right <laughs> all right but I think this, that's a fantastic. It might prize. be. It might be fun to do that. Yeah. And then I, I have one other thing prize. that I'm giving away. Yeah. To to Chris because he carried me through <laughs> this whole thing, and then in the future, carry me. You know, for all uh, the rest of my campaigns. So this one's for Chris. You win that one right there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's one of it's one of the two remaining right. PWI <laughs> decks I need to complete my collection. So yeah. huge, huge. Yeah, that's very, very kind uh, of you, John. Lost internet. Kind of you. Um, All right. I was also going to offer up for the giveaway as well. Oh, I wow. have some extra. Um, wow. Uh, TWI uh, Phantasma Revenant oh, uh, uncut I, I don't know what happened. Stuff. So I, I'll give away. I have I have enough to do two sets as well, so I can offer up. Uh, All right, excellent. So, so not only will you will winners get one uh, deck. Uh, one uh, spacesuits holographic deck, but they'll also get a package of uncut sheets from Chris uh, Moyer. So yep. we will uh, let the campaign, we'll let this contest run for a couple weeks and then we'll announce the winner. Next episode, I'll announce the winner of our last giveaway, which was the gift certificate from uh, SoCal. Looks like we might have lost John, uh, John there momentarily. Uh, but we're coming to a wrap up anyway. Um, once again, want to remind you guys to like and subscribe and make sure to. Uh, follow along for future updates. We, we're hoping to have uh, a few other, I'm going to get Jonathan right back up here again. Uh, we're hoping to have some uh, really exciting new guests, additional guests in the coming weeks. Uh, so that will be something to look out for. So we'll probably have a new episode of Deal Me In sometime uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, I will definitely let everyone know 
uh, on the day of so that uh, you can come and join us uh, and be a part of this. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much again for being a part hey, of this. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I truly you. appreciate it, man. I've been a fan, like I said, since I, back when you, thank you, you know, man. back I when I could that. make your videos. Man. Yeah, thank I'm you. telling you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're you're amazing. Thank you so much. A lot, a lot of a lot of uh, congratulatory feelings uh, among <laughs> the three of us. Um, I appreciate, it, appreciate it. All right. Cool. Chris, anything else before we close out? Spacesuits awesome. to the moon. Spacesuits tomorrow. Make sure you uh, get in there on that. Uh, thank you all for watching. You guys are great, and uh, we will catch you next time. Have a good one. Bye, everyone. Good one.